Hello everyone, Chris Jarzik, your Southwest Florida Realtor with MVP Realty, bringing you another new construction home tour. Uh, to be totally honest with you, I am getting a lot of flack from a couple Facebook groups that I am part of that do YouTube stuff for real estate, and they keep critiquing and saying nobody likes home tour videos. Uh, so if you do like home tour videos, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so I can go and show those people that people actually do enjoy checking out beautiful homes. For today's tour, I am going to show you a beautiful three bedroom, three bath, three car garage, pool home located in Southwest Cape Coral. Decided to do the intro inside because it is post hurricane. Everyone is mowing their lawns and there's a lot of background noise. So I figured I would shoot it right here in the foyer of this beautiful home. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick shot of the area here. This one is 2010 square feet. So here we have your main living area. There is no carpeting. Uh, also, this is built in 2023. And like all the other videos, I will go ahead and put pricing and uh, specs and description in that uh, information box down below. So let's go on and check the primary suite first. And we will go outside and show you as well. Fairly standard. If you've been watching any of my home tour videos, which I hope you have been, you can see that we have our normal transom. We've got our access out to the pool area. And lately it seems like I'm running into a lot of the large 20 by 40 tile and it's white and it appears to be very slick if wet. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you like this sort of tile or if you're more of a plank or a wood look person. Very curious to know everybody's taste. Everybody likes different things. Uh, as you can see, high ceilings, five and a quarter inch baseboards. Oh, and one other thing. When it comes to baseboards, a lot of people do disapprove of this style baseboard because they say that it does allow to collect dust rather than the one that's more flush with or less flush with the wall. So let me know what you think. Are you a fan of the flat square baseboard or would you rather have something that's not a quote unquote dust catcher? So let's check out the primary bathroom. We've got two closets here, fairly standard style, Decent size, and then you have a attic access up here for this side of the house. We have a water closet there. And coming in, we've got dual sinks here with a vanity type setup, soft closed drawers, and I've got my gimbal hanging out of my pocket. Sorry about that. We've got a soaking tub here and pretty much just empty space there. Not quite sure what would or should have gone there. Seems kind of odd, personally. And as you can see, we've got the large walk-in shower, which had plenty of space for an overhead rain shower, but they opted out of it. Uh, let me know what you think of the space over on, on the left here. I feel, feel like there should be a vanity or something here, kind of left out. You do get a storage closet, but I like to give you guys my honest opinion. I, I don't know what could or should have gone there. Do you think that they should have put a vanity here and then a vanity over there? So let me know in the comments down below. We've got a lot of questions in this video today. Before we go outside, we'll hit We'll hit everything and then I've got to do a little bypass. Uh, also, we've got a electric fireplace here with a little cutout for the TV. They kind of did a build out back in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. The uh, drywall build outs were very, very popular. Uh, me personally, I like a more flush wall that I can kind of do things with. Not quite sure how you're going to hang a certain TV here. You'd have to kind of drill through the tile there. So I'm not quite sure what the thought process was on that. As, we're, as you've seen, open kitchen area. 
with your dining off to the right. And we've got a very large island with the waterfall edge on both sides and 42 inch cabinets with the extra cabinet for if you're an NBA player, you can get in there. Not quite sure, I would have to use the ladder. I do like the backsplash here. I do like the colors that they used. And it does have very nice Samsung refrigerator. Pan on over here, we have a pantry as well for extra storage. And another laundry room with 42 inch cabinets, crown molding, and a slop sink. Now we're going to come on out into the three car garage. And as we've talked about, if, like I said, if you've caught any of my videos, you know that uh, storage is at a premium here in Florida. And a three car garage is definitely the way to go if you can pull it off. And then also up here, we do have our brand new AC system, so it's not in your way. Tucked off nice with attic access as well. Doesn't look like they have pull down stairs, so that might be something you will need to add when you put or need to go up in the attic. So come on back in. <clears throat> Let you sneak through there and give them a shot of the kitchen. Pool bath here. This is your second bathroom. So nice granite top. And it does not have a tub here. So floor to ceiling tile for you. Bedroom number two. Looks out into the backyard. Doesn't have a walk-in closet, but does have a decent size one. Could possibly use this as a den if you wanted to. Oh, before we forget, little storage closet there. Very, very narrow, maybe for hand towels. And a slightly smaller bedroom here. And the reason that is, is because they went ahead and did this as a suite style. So the space that could have been used for the extra room here in the bedroom, they opted to give it a suite style setup, uh, floor to ceiling tile, as you saw. All right, let's uh, Mission Impossible, this one here, Tom Cruise style with the safety setup. Actually, I can't do that one. Got to do this one. Let's bypass here so you don't get your eardrums blown out if you happen to have headphones in. So here we have the beautiful outdoor living area. These are pocket sliders. Hold on. Sorry about that. As I was saying, they just have uh, pocket sliders. I think I'll put a little warning for the sound on there when I edit this video. Pocket sliders here, so they will open up all the way so you can have a nice breeze. Uh, as you can see, nice pool area, pavered out back, and also a beautiful outdoor kitchen that matches the interior kitchen. Got a very nice grill here, looking like a good cooking surface with your prep sink. And as you can see, plenty of space. Uh, no ceiling fans out here. So that would definitely be something, just being transparent with you guys, you would definitely want to add. But overall, not bad. Oh, this particular property does not have impact glass if you take note here these are set up so that you can put sliders on so these are not hurricane impact 
for this particular property. And I will go ahead and put all the pricing and specs and everything in the description box down below. So I'll give you guys another shot of the pool area and then we'll, uh, we'll close this video out. Good to go. Well, thank you guys for checking out today's home tour video. If you have questions on this particular home or any other home in Southwest Florida, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. My number is 239-823-1685. I am Chris Jarzik with MVP Realty. And if you enjoyed this video and like real estate content, feel free to hit that subscribe button and I will be able to bring you more real estate content. Chris Jarzik, MVP Realty. Thanks for checking out today's video and I will see you on the next one.